Hello. Ooh, look at that view. Back on the mountain. Oh. Welcome to Impart Ministries International. Upon this rock, God builds his church. We are on the mountain. Woo! Yes. We are in Georgia uh, this week because, you know, we were in California last Sunday. What a blessing it is to be able to minister wherever God sends us on assignment. And we have been on assignment. So, yes, welcome IMI family to our Sunday worship service with a view. With a beautiful view. I mean, a we missed view. it. We missed oh it from this, from this point. We've missed it. We were on the other side a few weeks ago. But as many times as we see it, it doesn't get old. It just doesn't, it doesn't get old. It definitely does not get old. Can you hear us okay? Just want to make sure you are hearing us okay. It is 1.30 Sunday Eastern Standard Time for those who are watching on replay. We are Pastors Gerald and Yvette Benton of Impart Ministries International. Impartministry.org is our website. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And do welcome, we have welcome, welcome. a message for you? We get excited every week because the word of God should excite us. I mean, for real. The word of God should always excite us when we're studying to show ourselves approved, when we're excited about what God is saying to us. Mm -hmm that's when he is pleased. We should never get tired of digging into God's word, hearing God's word ministered, uh, breaking open God's word, studying, doing whatever God has for us to do through his word. You can't get tired of it. You just can't because it transforms you. Oh, Lord. So every Jesus. time you get into God's word, it should transform you. That's it so should good. take on a whole new meaning. Every time you dig into it, it should be something that's going to help you to grow, to learn, to expand, you know, whatever it is that that God is truly having for you to read or to listen to should make an impact on your life, on your day, on your time, on who you are. And so we, we just encourage you to still dig in and allow this word to affect and transform you Ooh. or allow you to see something different or hear something different. All right. So let's let's really and truly get into this word. Yes, that's exciting. Um, thank you to our administrator, Dr. Katrina Foster, who is with us uh, today as our administrator tab is on vacation we're we're blessed that she's able to take her vacation time so thank you to dr katrina foster who is putting the scripture up for us today and the scripture for today's message we want you to turn if you have your device if not then um you will ha see the scripture on the screen you will see the scriptures on the screen as we are reading and we encourage you to put this on your page share it and let other people know i'm with empire ministries international i'm a member i'm a partner i'm listening to the word join us so put this on your page and share with others so the scripture reading today is coming from matthew 7 starting at verse 6. Ooh. And we're reading out of the Amplified Classic. Matthew 7, starting with verse 6 in the Amplified Classic. As you know, we love the Amplified Classic. So get it on your device. You should see it on pinned on the page. You should see it pinned on the page. Follow us as we begin to dig into God's Word because the message today is ask seek knock for your harvest Woo! Here we go. ask seek and knock for your harvest come on now let's go think about that for a second let it meditate think marinate, marinate. in your That's mind what I what I let said. that marinate ask seek 
knock for your harvest. Amen. Amen. So Matthew 7 and verse 6 reads, Do not give that which is holy, the scarred thing, to the dogs, and do, and do not throw your pearls before hogs, lest they trample upon them with their feet, and turn and tear you in pieces. My goodness. Wow. Oh, my goodness. So the holy and the sacred thing, we cannot just allow anything to come in its way. This mm. this scripture is saying, don't don't just throw it to the hogs. Don't don't just throw it away. The, the promised thing, the holy thing, the sacred thing, the thing that God has promised us, your harvest, you don't throw it before hogs you don't throw it before anything unclean mm -hmm. is really what this is all about you don't just say oh, oh, oh forget about it because that that's what when you think about throwing something away to you the hogs want, it's like it you don't want it anymore you you, you're it. just acting like it means nothing God is reminding us, wait a minute. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what people have said. You don't just throw the promises I've spoken to you because that's the holy thing. Yeah. When God says something to us, do we really see it as a holy thing? Wow. That's, that, that's something to really pro uh, process. When God says something to us, when God reveals something to us, when God promises us something, when we read it in God's word, do you really see it as a holy thing? Because if we truly saw it as a holy and sacred thing, we wouldn't just throw it aside when, when things got hard. We wouldn't wow. just throw it aside when we got a little diff when it got a little difficult. Come we on. wouldn't just throw it aside when someone said something contradictory to it. That's just throwing it to the hogs. Come on, teacher. That's just throwing it. And, and, and what will they do? They'll trample on it. <laughs> They'll trample on it. You gonna throw it down? Oh, I'll trample on it. Cause obviously if it doesn't mean something to you, why should it mean something to someone else? Come on, and they gonna turn around and tear, and turn around and tear you up with it. Mm -mm -mm. I thought you was using your word. What happened to you being faithful? What happened to you doing this? They gonna turn around, turn it right back around on you. My Lord. Come on. It's, it's, it's saying in verse six that you, you, it, they'll turn it and tear you in pieces. In pieces. Because you've become a, a bad witness at that point. You've become a bad witness at that point. You've become something other than sacred, something mm. other than holy. Because if you saw it as holy, you would, you would treat it like when it says, don't throw your pearl, you would treat it like a treasure, wow. like a gem. So when God's promises are spoken to you, when God's promises are revealed to you, when God's harvest is explained to you, we got to treat it as something holy and sacred and valuable. Right. Don't just throw it away at the, at the first difficulty. Don't just throw it away when something doesn't seem right or look right. Again, the stewardship. Exactly. New teaching. Matthew 7, verse 7. It says, keep on asking and it will be given you. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking rever reverent reverently and the door will be open to you. Now, this is the main scripture for today. This is the main scripture for the message today. It's important to see in the Amplified Classic that it starts with keep, keep on. on. Not stop on. Not, not, and not just ask. On. Not not just ask. Asking. So it's 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 important to see that when we're when we look at the Amplified Classic, it expounds. It explains things a little bit further. It opens things up. You can't just ask and be done with it. Because then you'd be throwing it aside, not treating it reverently. That means you've got to put reverential fear on it, reverence on it, put reverence on God's promise, put reverence on God's harvest, put reverence on what God said. How can you say you reverence something, revere something, call it, call it holy, call it sacred, call it godly, if you don't continue? Mm. That's keeping on. That's why he's telling you not to throw it away, not Jesus. throw it down. Because he's telling you to keep on. Yes. Keep on. On. It says, keep on asking and it will be given you. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking reverently and the door will be open. It says the door will be open. That's kind of like a promise that 
If you Ooh. keep on doing all of these things, the door will be open. My God. It will be open to you. It will be open to you. But there's a, there's things that you have to do. You have to keep on asking. It's like, why do I have to keep asking? Because God wants to see if you're going to be consistent. If you if you will be that that you will be a steward, a good steward, a good steward. A steward and and this keeps it, it keeps coming up when we talk about harvest. You got to talk about stewardship. Yeah. When we talk about promises, we have to talk about our part, our consistency, our reverence. And, and what's interesting about this type of asking is not so much the asking like begging. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, please. That's different. That, that's different. <laughs> Say that again. This type of, oh, please, I, oh, all that, that says you don't believe. This type of asking really is, oh I'm God. putting it in the atmosphere. Right. I'm, I'm letting, I'm letting the, the enemy know. Right. I'm, I'm decreeing and declaring. I'm speaking from a place of victory. I'm declaring from a place of, of knowing it is so. I may not see it right now in manifested yet, but I know it's so. So this is the type of asking that is, I'm going to put what God's word says into the atmosphere so that I am, am, am being consistent with what he told me, consistent with my promise, consistent with my harvest. Yeah. Then I'm asking. That's the type of asking. Then when, I, when, when the word says to seek, when it says to seek, that means I got to look. Yeah. I got to look around. I got to seek the word. I got to seek his promises. I got to seek righteousness. I've got to do some things. I've got to make some things happen in the spirit realm. I've got to make sure that I'm not only asking from a place of victory, right. meaning I know who I am. Right. I, I know I'm his daughter. Uh -huh. I'm going to my dad and I'm asking. Come on. I, I'm not asking like, oh my God, I didn't think and all, all of that. No, 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 no. That's, that's, not the, that's not the position I'm asking from. And then I'm, when I see I'm not seeking thinking I won't find it. There's some times when, when God will say some things, and I've seen this in one-on-one, in -on -one and I've experienced it myself. You almost deal with it feeling like it's not going to happen, almost to prove God wrong. Yeah, you ain't going to prove God wrong. Sorry. I mean, if, if anybody's going to be wrong in this situation, I can promise you it won't be God. So if we're consistent... But we're we're speaking and we're not and we're not seeking with expectation. We're not seeking believing. Uh -huh. Then then we miss out. Then we miss out. So the seeking and the and the asking have to be from a place of belief, wow. a place of, of faith. Then knock. That's that's me doing some things. All of those things, asking, seeking, knocking, those are things that I have to do. Then at first we gotta do it reverently. So we can't just do it any kind of way. Right. We, we can't just do it in a place of, of sin. We can't do it from a place of, of, of unbelief. But once we do those things and we keep on doing them, right. you know, believe and keep on believe. believing. So ask and keep, keep on, on asking. asking, seek and keep, keep on, on seeking, seeking. knock yep. and keep, keep on, on knocking. knocking. Then uh -huh. the door is open. Wow. Then the harvest is coming. Then the manifestation. Then the promise is revealed and manifested. Then the healing comes. So this scripture, um, seven, 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 Matthew seven, seven, and, 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 and the numbers have been meaning some things. When you get two sevens, it's complete. If you keep asking, keep knocking, <laughs> keep seeking, it's complete, complete. It's a double complete. <laughs> seven, seven. Oh, goodness. In Matthew 7, 7. You're teaching. It's complete. Yeah, but only if you keep on. And on, keep on keeping on. Only if you keep on. And keep on keeping on. And keep it on keeping on. So verse 8 says, For everyone who seeks, seeks, keeps on asking, receives. Woo! And he who keeps on seeking, finds. <gasps> and, he, and him who keeps on knocking, the door, once again, will be opened. Mm -hmm. Or what man is there of you, if your son ask him of a loaf of bread, will hand him a stone? Mm. Or if he asks for a fish, will he hand him a serpent? My God. If you then, evil as you are, know how to give good and, and advantageous gifts to your children, how much more will your father, who is in heaven, perfect as he is, Give good and advantageous things to those who keep on asking him. So everyone that does it will get 
what you're asking, seeking, and knocking for. Right. Because what type of, of man would, would, would speak or mother, woman, human, what, what person has their child asking for bread and, and you, you give them a stone? Like, can I have something to eat? And you give them something in, inedible. That, that's not how we do things. Mm. Your child starts asking you for something that they are in need of. There's mm. something that, that is important to have, Ooh, something that will keep good. them going. That's good. Keep going. Because that's what bread up. represents you in the Bible. We, we were, they're asking for, for a loaf, bread. the daily bread. Thank they're asking for, for something that's necessary, uh -huh. nutrients. Come on. So now don't just ask for any old thing. You're teaching. Ask for the thing that you need. Ask for the thing that was promised. Ask for the thing that's in the word. Don't don't go asking God for something yeah. that you got no, no business asking for. So so this example is asking for the bread. Uh -huh. And and would you give stone if your child asked for bread? Would you? And, and then if they ask for bread and fish, that that goes together. Mm -hmm. I'm asking for something that would be nutrients to me. So if I ask for bread and fish, are you going to give me stone and serpent? No. Wow. And we're evil as far as the, <laughs> we, we got issues. <laughs> we're unholy. We're unright. We're like as He's filthy like, rags. Our righteousness, <laughs> the word says, you know. is as filthy rags in the word. Yeah. Our type of righteousness is as filthy rags. Come so, on. so we've got to realize in the word when we're asking for things and when we're doing things as a parent, right? we got to realize, uh, <laughs> even we wouldn't do that. So since our, our heavenly father is perfect, mm -hmm. our heavenly father is righteous. Our mm -hmm. heavenly father wants what's best for us. He's not going to do anything less than we would do. And we wouldn't even do that. Right. Wow. Would you do that? Wow. Would you do that? Because there's no way you would do that. How much more will your father He's holy. Mm -hmm. He's righteous. How much more? So when we're when we're when the enemy tries to tell us something other than, oh, if you if you ask or if you believe God's not going to do this, because let's be honest, we, we start doubting what God will do mm. when it doesn't look like it. Or when it doesn't happen as fast as you want it to happen. That's why it's a all it's a keep on. Keep on knocking. Keep on seeking. Keep on. It's, 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 it's constantly asking. It's keeping on. You have to be consistent in doing what you're supposed to do and asking and doing these things. And then all of a sudden, things will start <laughs> opening up. You'll start seeing things. You'll start finding things. Ooh. Doors will start opening. And all of a sudden, now those things, and it, what it does, it gives you the, the hope. But God wants to see if you're consistent. If he instantly give you something, then all of a sudden we'll do what? We'll stop doing it because we thought we got it quick. We got it too quick. And so he knows our heart. He knows where we are. He knows our consistency. He knows our discipline. He knows everything about us. Wow. And so he tells us that he wants us to be consistent. And, and that's why it's a, it's a seeking. It, it's all, it's a constant um, asking, seeking, knocking, everything is uh, with an I-N-G. That means continue. You got to continually do this. And your lifestyle has to be something that it is continuously to get this, to get what God is asking. So since we've been um, ministering, teaching, decreeing, declaring the promise, these are some of the things that could be in the way. So in the last few weeks, God has been showing us what could be in the way of your promise. If you haven't seen it yet, you, 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 you need to be working on some things that are necessary for you to have it. So are you asking from a place of victory? Are Ooh. you seeking from a place where you know it's already there? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm looking for something. You know, when you look for something and you're not sure if it's there, you look differently. If you ever lost your keys, but you know you got, you have them. Yeah. You know that you drove to your house. You know you drove to someone's house. So therefore the keys have to be there. If you were in a place where you weren't quite sure that your keys were there, you'd look for them, but you'd say, oh, well, maybe they're at home or maybe they're, maybe I left them somewhere else. But if you drive somewhere, you know, at some point you had and your keys, keys in that location. And you ain't you, gonna stop looking. When I tell you, <laughs> you, ain't gonna stop you looking. know good and well. Cause you ain't going nowhere. You know, you got there with some keys. Yeah. So the keys have to be there. Yeah. When you know something is there, when you know something is yours, when you know and believe something and, and you uh, uh, are so convinced that it's there, you don't stop. 
Wow. You you keep looking. You don't stop like other people might stop. Now that's the, you know, don't 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 recommend I wouldn't recommend that you wait on somebody else. Look, look, I got my keys. So I'm not going to keep looking for yours. I can't find them. I'm going home. That's throwing it to the swamp. You don't expect, don't you sit down and expect someone else to look for your stuff. Wow. You know it's there. And you know you got there. And you know it, 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 it has to be somewhere. You look differently. You seek differently. You, you look around. You don't stop. You don't, you, don't, you don't wait. You don't sit back and go, oh, well, maybe sort of. No, you look and you look fervently. So the effectual fervent prayer, it's that fervency of we've been talking about for weeks. It's fervency that people are missing in the prayer and the preparation for the promise. We're not just going to sit back and just get some things just because we're right here. Yes, he's our father, but he doesn't want us to mess up. He doesn't. He, he is a good father. So he knows if we're not prepared for certain things, once he releases it, we won't be ready for it. So when we're asking and seeking and, and, and knocking, we're also preparing. Yep. We're also getting our minds right. We're getting our hearts right. We're getting our lifestyles right. We're getting our prayer life right. We're getting our fasting right. A lot of times when we're asking from that perspective, we're, we're, we're fasting and we're, we're studying the word. We're getting ourselves prepared so that as the harvest is released, hmm. As the harvest shows up and You're manifests, we're ready. You're prepared for it. That's everything that we doing, everything that God is talking about. Every, it's all about being being prepared, being, being is a preparation mm. for your harvest. You got to be prepared for what God is getting ready to release. Because if you actually get what God wants to release to you too early, ah. it'll destroy you. And deliverance. It, 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 a lot of what deliverance is done in layers. Yeah. Uh, uh, when when the promise is deliverance or the promise is a healing or the promise is a relationship, a lot of that is released in layers so that we can start to manage yeah. where we are. If you get certain process. deliverance too soon or too much at one time and you don't know how to live, then the enemy comes in and hinders the very thing you wanted, the very thing you were promised, the very thing that God gave you. So we have to do certain things in layers to make sure our lifestyle, to make sure our thought process, because a lot of things are happening in our mind. Is our thought process in, 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 a, in a position where we can handle what God is promising us? Because some of these promises are so big. We, we don't need to rush them. We need to, we, we, we need to prepare for them. Our, our time should be spent preparing for the promise, preparing for the harvest, not constantly saying to God, win, 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 win. No, seek. Seek the word, nice. seek your mindset, seek a lifestyle, seek the scripture, all of it. You know, a lot of things when I was in this place, the asking part, the seeking, you, you didn't want to really, if you don't, if you're not prepared or you're not ready to, you want the, the end result, but. Are you asking what it's going to take to, to, to maintain the end result? Wow. Or are you seeking to get an answer of what I'm supposed to do for it? And are you knocking hard enough to get that answer? Wow. To be able, to, I'm telling you, be, to get what God wants to give to you, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to take a whole lot of seeking. Wow. It's, that's why it's seeking, 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 asking, because you're constantly going to have to ask, what do I need for the next step? What am I seeking? What do I need to seek for? What, what am I? I'm seeking new strength. I'm seeking new wisdom. I'm knocking. I'm knocking. I'm knocking because I got to constantly knock on the door because I want to be, I want to have everything that you want me to have, God. So I'm knocking on the door asking, what is it that I need to do? Seeking, what is it that I need to, to, to see? What do I need to, to have and, and to be? And all of that because I understand what you showed me, but I understand that every level I got to seek something different. Wow. I got to ask something different. I can't be asking the same thing over and over and over. It's, it's God says, I want you to keep asking, but every level you got to be asking for something else. You Ooh, can't be asking the, the same, same thing. thing. That, that's telling him that you're in the same place. Wow. That you haven't moved. You so, haven't grown. You haven't expanded. You right. haven't shifted. 
And right. so the place is the asking is asking in every level that you go in. Asking is every level, every season that you fall, that you go into, every distance that you move. You're asking, okay, do I make this left or I make this right? Do I stand? Do I give? Do I move? Do I up? Do, I'm asking and I'm seeking. What is it that I need to gain? What is it that I need to have to move on to the next thing? And I'm gonna keep knocking, God, until you give me an answer of how I need to move, how I need to shift. Yeah, because you're not really asking, mm. seeking, and knocking just for the promise itself. Come but on. you're asking, seeking, not knocking for the preparation, for, for the, the lifestyle, for yeah. everything that's necessary, and for the instructions. For the instructions, instructions to get to the next place because otherwise the harvest stops. Yep. It really truly isn't a harvest if it stops. If it's if it's one if it's one season and it doesn't keep coming back, that's not a true harvest. Harvest is something that continuously gives, but there are that things that's necessary. That there are things that's necessary for it to continue. Yeah. And if it's going to continue, then there are things that you need to ask for, seek in the new, yep. in the new season with yep. the new people, because. Everything that we've been doing, we're doing now, we're asking God for new instructions for ministry versus maybe two or three years ago, we were asking God only, only the information on how to handle ourselves. Yeah. Now we're asking God how to, how to maintain what mm -hmm. we've, we're, we're doing. Now we're asking for instructions on the ministry, instructions on the businesses, instructions on what's next. Mm -hmm. So we're still asking, but we're not asking the same thing. We're still seeking we're not seeking the same thing because right. we expect that level to level and glory to glory are asking, seeking, knocking shifts with our level to level. Mm. So we don't get in the habit of continuously asking, then we'll plateau right. and miss out. Yeah, you miss something. Miss a lot. Don't, don't, don't miss what God has planned for you. My don't Lord. miss what God is showing you. Don't miss that. My Lord. And verse, and verse 12. It says, so then whatever you desire that others would do to and for you, even so do, al do also to and for them. For this is, sums up the law and the prophets. So in that verse 12, it reminds us too, that while we're asking, seeking, and knocking, this is not a selfish ask, seek, knock. This is about, yeah, you want some things, but what are the things that God is asking you to do for others? Mm -hmm. This is not about expecting and having this harvest just so you can get wealthy. Expecting and having this harvest just so your kids can get delivered and say, just asking, seeking, and knocking only what you need. God is, is, is a kingdom-focused God. And because he's kingdom-focused, he wants us to seek first the kingdom. If we're seeking first the kingdom, we're looking out for other people. We're looking out for what we can do for them. We're looking out for what, what our life our lifestyle, our finances, our money, our revelation can do for other people. Glory be to God. So it's not just asking, seeking, knocking for you. Asking, <laughs> seeking, and knocking for your stuff. Asking, seeking, and knocking for your family. You got to learn how to ask, seek, and knock for you so that you can ask, seek, and knock for others. Because mm. that's kingdom. Are we stuck in a selfish place? Mm. I'm just saying. Because God is not, that's not God. God has not been selfish. That's why he wants you to continue to do it because you're having to, to, to look back and help someone else get to this place, teaching them the same principles. Wow. Jesus, he, he went through teaching the same parables and the principles to the, to the disciples so that they can do the same thing. So it's reproducing, uh, reproducers of reproducers. So you constantly teaching, uh, 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 um, a parable or a principle to your children. Yeah. You understand what I'm and saying? And not only your children, but someone else's children. children. And, 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 and some adults that didn't learn it as a child. Exactly. Whatever the case may be, whoever God is sending you, that's why we have to get into the habit of continuing. Because if not, we'll get what we came for yep. and won't keep asking. Yep. We'll get what we were seeking for and won't keep seeking. And God will say, now, I didn't plateau. do just that. So you can just enjoy what I did for you. That's I want you to limit. enjoy. There it is. He's no reach, limit. You just reach a certain limit and then you just say, I'm going to cap it off. You just capped off what God really wants to do. Ooh. When you got to a place and you just say, okay, I'm done. I'm done asking. I'm done seeking. I'm, I'm done knocking. And, and God's like, mm, no. no, 
this this thing this is this this is the way it, you this, are the pro, this is the lifestyle that's right this is a lifestyle so it's it's well it's till you say well done my good and faithful servant my lord so today's message ask seek knock but don't just ask seek and knock for you and don't ask from a perspective where you think god is like you mm. god is is perfect and he wants to give us our harvest, our promises, everything that, that he showed us, everything he's showing us. Right. And even beyond that, because some things he can't even show us is so big. But that, if you that, don't that, stop, that. if you don't stop seeking, you won't, get to ever get you to won't see ever it. get to see the exceeding abundantly <laughs> because you'll stop at what you ask for. Ooh. I'm not stopping at what I ask for. I'm going to keep asking because he wants Ooh. to give me more than I ask for. I, I want what God wants. I want all I want, the I stuff. want all his desires for me. I, I want everything he promised me and then the exceeding abundance. Okay. I want it all. We want it all. Let's get it. We're going to get it. Let's get it. I'm going to keep asking. Come on. And we're you're going to keep, keep asking. And you're going to keep, gonna keep seeking, knocking. And you're going to keep knocking. No, 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 no. You, hey. <laughs> Have you ever heard a person knock on your door? When they know <laughs> you're in there. <laughs> Okay. And then keep knocking. Du -du 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 -du. I know you're in I know there. You're helping this door. I'm gonna keep knocking. They, so they I'm knocking on the shadow. I'm, I'm knocking on heaven's door. No, 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 no. I got to do God, it. God, I know you up there. I, you, I know you hear me knocking. If you if you see a shadow, a light, <laughs> somebody's car, uh, uh, you're not you're not gonna run away from me. I'm gonna keep knocking this door. You're not gonna ignore me. Girl, I hear you. That's you're not good. gonna ignore me. That's good. Not gonna ignore That's me. I know you're in there. God, I I believe you. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep knocking because I know it's in there. I know, I know, I know what you said. So I, so I'm believing. I know what you showed me. So I'm not, I don't care what these people, I don't care. I don't care that the door is not open yet. I'm going to keep knocking. And when it opens. And then when it opens, my God. God, we will not be ignored in this season. We're not going to be ignored. We're not going to be forgotten. We're not going to be missing out. Nothing. Missing nothing or missing, lacking no anything. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. We want to show you the view. We want, we, we want you to see the extent of promises. We want you to see it. Because uh, there's something about visually seeing some, some certain things. Oh, we won't be sitting here long. Ooh. Oh. No, nah, we won't sit won't here. Won't be sitting here long. Mm -mm. My Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord. That's why the little kid didn't want to. I hope. I'm hoping. Uh-oh. It turned, but I couldn't see. There you go. As far as you can see. The promise. See, God promised, God promised you all of that. And all of a sudden, all you're doing is looking, look, point it down. That's as far as you can see. Nah. But God said, I want I want you to see. I want you I want to, see. to see. I want you to see what I want to give you. That's a lot. That is a lot. You can't you can't even uh, it's like like it's for amazing. real, God. Is is that what you're saying? He told us to come on this mountain and told us to look. As far as you can see, I've given you this territory. I'm like, wow. We didn't even know this place existed. But you did. And this is what you this is what you entrusted us with to pray over, to speak over. And we don't take it lightly. Yeah. Woo! You saw it. It's been a blessing. <laughs> huh? It's warm out here. We didn't tell y'all it was about, I feel like it's a thousand. Yeah, I'm it's sure a, it's not. It's tab I'm telling you, it's, I feel like it's a thousand. And host team, you're going to be with us next week. So next week, we'll have some more with us. Uh, host team, uh, our, our, our visitors will be with us next week to minister on the top of the mountain with us. But the promises, asking, seeking, knocking, knowing that God said it, knowing that God's going to provide, knowing it's on the way. And then knowing we got to stay good stewards of what he's given us so that we can prepare to help someone else. Woo! Amen, amen, God's, amen. God is so good with concerning these, the, the harvest. 
he's so good to us he's so good to everything uh he's been showing us and sharing with us so we want to pray for you we want to pray that you ask seek and knock we want to cancel anything that would stop you or, or cause you to be hindered in any way because we are going to do all god has to ask us to do and have all god has asked us to have so father god we just thank you now that we come to you asking for forgiveness for anything that we have said done or thought wrong any disobedient act that was against your will and your word lord we ask to be forgiven now in the name of jesus i thank you father god that we will not stop asking seeking and knocking father god for your instructions for your wisdom for your understanding for for your word father god for your advice father everything mm. that you have for us to have father god we will continually to knock we will continually to seek and ask father god because that is that's who we are as your servants father god and that we will steward over your word Ooh. like never before father god that as you have released this word that we have a new revelation and a new understanding and a new meaning father god of what you're asking us father yes. and i thank you right now for this word father god them for the people that have heard this word not only being hearers father god but being doers of this word father that is trans form their not only their minds but their hearts father god and their lives will live this thing out every single day in jesus name i pray amen 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 amen, amen. 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 you continually pull down every stronghold that gets in your way you continue to pull down any obstacle any distraction mm. any curse pull it down pull it down and say in the name of Jesus, I will not stop asking. Every I will not works. stop seeking. I will not stop knocking. Mm. You have that authority. You have that power in the word to do exactly that. Every to do muscle exactly off of that. your mouth so that you, will, that you will be able to ask. Being ashamed to ask. I bind that now in the name of Jesus. I counsel every scale that has been on your eyes that you cannot see, that you will not seek. I bind it now in the name of Jesus that you will continue to seek and you will be able to see. And Father, anything that is stopping them, Father God, from knocking, ah. knocking on your door, knocking, Father God, that they will be continually, continuously knocking, Father God, at every level that they go in, Father God, that those doors that you promised will be open Woo! unto them. Doors open, doors open, doors open. I want to see the emoji of the door. We're declaring the doors are open. open. The doors are open because you asked, because you were seeking, because you were knocking. The doors are open. The word says Jesus. the doors shall be open. So put the doors up to represent. My doors are open. The doors are up to my promise are open. The doors to my harvest, they're open. open. The doors to what God promised, are it's open. open, open, open. We want to see those doors. We want to declare the doors are open. Prophetic acts. Let's Woo! go. Put the doors up. The doors are open. Put the doors so up. We are excited. Yes, the doors are open. We see them. We see them. We see them. We see them. We're excited for you because we're declaring the doors are open. Well, thank Jesus. you so much for being with us. This is Impart Ministries International Sunday Service. Our Sunday service today is on the mountain. The Sermon on the Mount. God said, upon this rock I built my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So we are on this big giant rock <laughs> establishing his church and declaring the gates of hell shall not, not prevail. prevail against it or its people our partners or our members in the name of jesus with that being said we want to let you know that if you have been um led of god to join us and become a member of Impart Ministries International. Our, our website will be on the screen, impartministry.org, and you can get information on becoming a member. We also have on Wednesdays at seven o'clock, we have intercession and worship. 7.30, we have study Bible, where we study to show ourselves approved, study the word of God, break up the text, study about salvation, study about evangelism, where we are studying the word of God to, to make sure that we are approved through God. So if you know that this is the, the body of Christ for you, 
then go to our website and click on member. If you would like some information on Study Bible, just go to our website and click register so that you can get the information for Study Bible on Wednesday, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. And for those who may be watching on replay or watching now that have not accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, we wanna, we wanna lead you in a prayer of salvation we want to make sure that anytime we are ministering on, on our Sunday and on our Wednesday that we give someone the opportunity to get saved, someone the opportunity for salvation, someone the opportunity to accept Jesus as their personal Savior. So if Jesus is not yet your personal Savior, or maybe you're in a backslidden condition and you want to recommit, we want you to repeat after Pastor Gerald as he leads you in the prayer of salvation. I want you to repeat after me. So... We believing in your heart, you got, to, you got to confess with your mouth that you have sinned, that you are a sinner. That's so confessing in your sins and you believe in, so I confess my sins and I confess that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And I believe in my heart that he has died on the cross for my sins. And that three days later, he was rose from the dead that I might live a holy and eternal life mm. in Jesus Christ and in, with the Father in heaven. And that the blood of Jesus has cleansed my sins as far as the east is from the west, that I can stand before the Father without a spot wrinkle or blemish in jesus name amen amen amen, amen. welcome 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 well, we celebrate anyone who has said that prayer for the very first time or who has recommitted your life and we want to help you along the way so if you go to our website click the home word home and you'll see salvation you'll see the word salvation if you click salvation you'll get scriptures and information on how to begin or how to extend or improve or advance your christian walk with Come the on. lord so we're excited for you and we congratulate you and welcome you into the body of christ yes. welcome you into the body of christ we celebrate you those of us who are already in the body of christ we celebrate any Ooh. individual who says that prayer for the very first time or recommits their life the celebration yes emoji yes yes celebrate all right well thank you all so much for being with us on the mountain we are headed down the mountain now as you can see we've got we, we're picking up speed today picking up some speed because it's, it's a little cooler in the shade so uh we, we're picking up speed because uh the, the, the way down has a little more shade well we are excited for you thanks for being with us we'll see you all who are members and partners and if you feel led to give those of you who are members you know we we teach tithes and offering you know to go to our website and click the tithe button as members and those who would like to donate there's a donate button if you would like to sow into this word or sow into our ministry or sow into uh the the vision that god has put before us you're welcome to do that at impartministry.org don't ever miss an opportunity to sow in response to god's word I'm so, so in you gonna sow into it sow amen into it. you gotta sow no, we gotta not see because we got some promises come on now we're gonna, gonna sow so 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 <laughs> yeah yes, Lord. hey come on so now. into what god has said thank, you, Jesus. thank god for it so we will see you all on wednesday those who are members and partners others we will see you next sunday we'll be back on the mountain 1 30 eastern standard time on sunday with another message from our harvest series we will see crew. you all soon yes i pray we got a crew with us <laughs> but if we don't with two or more guys that he's in the midst it'll be us if, if no one else, but we're encouraging those on our host team to be with us next Sunday. Goodbye.